I'm putting myself in your situation. I'm imagining what it must be like to subscribe to my channel, to watch me two or three times a day in my videos. And I create this illusion that my whole life <laughs> is based around hair loss, receding hairlines, diffuse thinning, balding, that my whole identity is wrapped up in that. Because in your version of knowing me, that's all you hear me talk about if you only subscribe to this channel and not my other one, Family Friendly Daddy Blog, right? So it's, and, there's a, and I talk about it every so often, there's a song by the group Genesis, you know, Phil Collins band from the 80s, and, and it's called Turn It On Again. And it's about, it's a story talking about a guy who is so wrapped up in a, in a TV show, a sitcom, that he begins to, to think that those characters are real. And he imagine, imagines that he's part of that family and that's part of his real life. And I think that's definitely just a default of what happens when you watch my channel regularly. That you begin to, to believe that my whole life is based around hair loss because I talk about it so often. But what you don't see is the rest of my life. It's almost like when you're in elementary school and you see your school teacher at the grocery store and like, like, there's my teacher, what do, what do I do? Oh, she's, she sees me. Uh, hi, Miss Shankles, uh, uh, I like school. And you don't, like, you don't know what to say because you only know them in their environment and you can't imagine, oh, my teacher is married and she, ha she has kids and she has a life outside of her job, you know? And it's funny because, you know, that's her full-time job. This is just something I do on the side. So what I thought would be interesting to just, do a reminder that my life isn't based around hair loss. I thought it'd be interesting to do a video in which I talk to you about what I actually do for a living. Would that be fun? <laughs> what, I, what do I spend eight hours a day, Monday through Friday, doing for my full-time income? Would that be interesting to, to, to try to imagine me in a world outside of hair loss? All right, so there we go. I'm gonna tell you what I do for a living and what my skill set is as far as actually making serious money and not just a couple hundred dollars a month off of this channel. Here we go. So, uh, when I went to college, I got an English degree. I have an English degree. What do you do with an English degree? Here's what I do with it. Uh, recruiting, Google that. In America, look at American jobs recruiting. And probably what you're gonna find is that in the top 10 jobs in America, Recruiting is one of the most highest in demand jobs. So it, it's paying pretty well to be good at recruiting people, okay? So uh, I worked about 12 years for one company recruiting truck drivers, over the road truck drivers, because there's also a huge demand for, over, for, for truck drivers in general that are qualified. There's a driver shortage in America. This is America. There is a shortage of qualified truck drivers. So for 12 years I worked for a company that recruited over the road drivers. Because imagine if you were away from your family, basically for about a month at a time, and then you only got to see them for about three days at home, and then you're back on the road. Imagine if that was your life. You can imagine that's a hard sell, but it pays pretty well uh, accordingly. With that being said, after the company I worked for for about 12 years, they basically, for the most part, closed down that branch, and I was without a job for six months. During that six months, I shaved my head during three months of that, and I was, uh, just focused on my blog, which also makes me money, familyfriendlydaddyblog.com. Uh, that makes me some money on the side, just like these videos do. And I just sort of kind of focused on that and took care of my kids. You know, it was mainly during the summer, just was a stay at home dad for six months. Uh, but uh, right at the six month mark, uh, someone found me on the internet through Career Builder. I had my, I forgot about, I had my resume online. And so there was a third party company who was basically matching up qualified recruiters such as myself. And turns out they found out that uh, a company that I had actually applied for three weeks after I lost my job, uh, that they were recruiting recruiters. So that recruiter down in Jacksonville, Florida, found me on CareerBuilder and said, hey, I want you to, to interview for this job. What's funny is it was about a mile away from my other job for 12 years, right? Just right across the interstate. So, uh, since May 7th, I have been back in the world of recruiting and I'm very happy about it. It's a much more challenging version of what I did. Um, it's not over the road, it's actually all across America. There are job openings popping up constantly and my job is to find the drivers who live in that area 
that want to do that job. So they're not over the road. They, they're mostly home every night and that sort of thing, but it's finding someone who's qualified in that geographic region. And so what I do is I create Craigslist ads and Indeed resume and I do all that stuff to get them to apply. Then I call them and tell them about the position. And then from that point, uh, what I do is I get their drug screen set up and you know, I, obviously I set up the interview with the hiring manager first. They, they, and then I do all the paperwork involved to get them set up to be hired. All across America, whether it's Arizona, Virginia, Buffalo, New York, all across the country at all times, there are needs for truck drivers in certain areas and it's my job to place all the right people. So in essence, what I do for an actual living is I like to think of it, it's like three main things that I do as a recruiter. Uh, there is definitely the sales you know, and marketing side of it because I'm creating ads all day long for them to respond to. Uh, to get them to apply. And then there's also uh, the administrative part of it. I mean, I'm setting up interviews all across. So I've got like my Microsoft Outlook and I have to say, okay, when's the hiring manager availability next Thursday when he can do the interview, when the driver can do the interview. Let me look at the time zone. Okay, let me send the invitation online so they can both accept it, match it up, put it on my calendar, follow up and see how the interview went and all of that. You know, because it's you may have one interview, but they might not be the right candidate and you've got to send three more before they find the right one. So I'm doing like, that's the administrative part of it. And then there's the HR part of it. Without a doubt, I'm making sure these people are qualified. Like I said, the drug screen, making sure the background checks out and all of this. So there's definitely an HR side of it that I have to make sure that I do everything right. So that's what I actually do for a living. That's what pays the bills. And the newest version of my job pays a lot more than the other because this, this new version is much more involved but I couldn't have got that job had I not had about 12 years at the other place. Uh, so my whole life out of college, what I've really done for a living is recruiting. I did, you, you, like, that's a job that exists, like recruiting people to get to go to work. Yeah, because again, there's a driver shortage in America. And just think about this, like, I don't know, let's say you own, you, you own a, a furniture store, okay? So you have the product that needs to go from, let's say, I don't know, Atlanta, Georgia to Birmingham, Alabama, right? Well, without a qualified driver to move that freight, how are you gonna get it moved? How are you gonna sell that because you've gotta get it from the warehouse to the actual store? How are you gonna do that? You have to have someone who's qualified and willing and to do that, you have to be able to pay them enough and that's part of my job too, is to make sure that these jobs are paying enough to get the drivers in there and if not, we have to renegotiate how much they pay. Okay, there you go. There's nearly, you know, that, that whole bit there was like six minutes of this video. You heard me talk about something other than hair loss. Can you, are you starting to imagine that like, oh yeah, he has a life outside of hair loss. He knows a lot about other stuff and what he's actually doing to pay most, uh, to make most of his money is this whole other thing that has nothing to do with, his brain is focusing on that during the day and not about hair loss. And then on top of that, I'm married, 10 years, two kids. I'm doing all of that plus running my blog, Family Friendly Daddy blog. So most of my life is spent in other, like uh, there's the movie about a boy and he talks about how uh, his life is ultimately dictated by 30 minute blocks for the day that make up his life. And when I think about hair loss, it's related to the YouTube channel. So I'm like, okay, well, that, you know, and I may spend maybe at the most an hour a day. You know, I often I shoot several videos at a time and then publish them throughout. So, I mean, maybe an hour a day uh, is spent on making these videos. And then I have a whole separate channel, which I spend just as much time with them. Family Friendly Daddy Blog, the YouTube channel. So uh, this is just part of who I am. It's a minor part of who I am and it doesn't translate to the real world. Can, I wanna close with just trying to get you to that thought. As much as I've convinced you that my whole life is revolved around hair loss, what I want you to imagine is that this is so small a part of what I do as far as hair loss. The rest of my world, in real life, I don't talk about hair loss. I don't go up to guys and say, hey, let's talk about receding hair loss. Like, that never, ever comes up in the real world. The only time I ever talk about hair is for these videos. Can you imagine that the words receding hairline, diffuse thinning, balding, none of those words ever come out of my mouth if I'm not saying it into a camera for this channel. Have I convinced you that I have an existence outside the world of hair loss? 
I'm not sure because you're probably, the next video I'll make that you'll watch is gonna be back to hair loss and I'll reel you back in into you thinking that I am this person who my life revolves around hair loss. But at least, knock, 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 you know, this is my attempt to break through that fourth wall to show you that I really do have a life outside of that. But for some people that's too difficult to believe, so let's just go back to believing that all I care about is hair loss.